opposition chasing Bradford were on the wrong end of a surprising 1-0 defeat in midweek at Swindon Town, which has put a dent in the Bantam pursuit of automatic promotion. Gillingham's excellent 2-0 home victory over promoted Leighton Orient in midweek makes them now safe as houses for another season in League Two. For a long time this season their EFL future was in doubt, but not anymore for the Kent side. This should be a really intriguing encounter between two sides who have been in excellent form in 2023. Well, Bradford start the day in sixth position on 71 points. And three points on Tuesday for Gillingham absolutely secured their safety. They're now in 17th. There's an early opportunity, it's an early goal for the visitors. It's Timothy Dieng. Not in the Bantams promotion script, this one. Right-footed shot. From the right-hand side of the penalty area. It's a mistake by the Bradford defence. Dieng takes it upfield, holds off his marker and fires unerringly into the opposite corner. All from that defensive error. Bradford have only lost one of their last seven league meetings with Gillingham and that was a heavy 4-0 defeat in October 2018 and that was nearly another goal for the visitors Gillingham well this has not started well for the promotion chasing home side once again the architects of their own downfall Any one of us can feel low. Our thoughts can get us down. We can also feel worried about family and friends. But you don't need to struggle on your own. A helping hand is at the end of the phone or keyboard every day of the year. Call Guideline on their free phone number today. 08001 884 884 or go online to use the live chat www.mindinbradford.org.uk Guideline is brought to you by Mind in Bradford, your local mental health charity. suffered one defeat in their last eight league visits to Bradford which was a 1-0 defeat in March 2018 so actually Gillingham quite like a trip to Yorkshire and they lead 1-0 at the moment but Bradford looking to get back on level terms early in the second period header goal and of course it's Andy Cook the division's top scorer 28 goals in all competitions now, that's 25 in the league. Six in his last six at Valley Parade. It's a brilliant cross from the left-hand side. And Andy Cook, top header, great link, 1-1. One, one. Andy Cook now has 12 home league goals this season. That's the most by a player in a single campaign at Bradford Valley Parade since 2011-12 season when Jane Hansen got 12. Cook will hope he has even more in him this season. Gillingham coming forward. They've played well so far. Led for a long time, now being pecked back, looking for that second goal. Looking to regain their lead, but it's a very good save by Lewis in the Bradford goal. Mackenzie it is, who finds that little bit of space to get his shot away.
opportunity with Gillingham only winning two of their away league games this season, losing the last three on the bounce, but so far they have a point here on the road. What a good point it would be against a very good Bradford City side. An opportunity here, an appeal for handball. Shot coming in, fantastic save by Morris in the Gillingham goal. Great football all round. Banks it is, who picks it up, left footed, superb right handed save by the Gillingham stopper. Desperate for three points here. Not only to help consolidate their playoff place, but to keep alive automatic promotion hopes. It's still inside the box, appeals for a penalty. It's given! The Bantams have a penalty late in the piece chance to put themselves ahead and put themselves in pole position for three points it does look like a penalty Scott Banks it was who drew the penalty from Max Emer of Gillingham here's the chance it's a goal from Andy Cook converts the penalty right footed into the bottom left hand corner Sends the Gillingham goalkeeper the wrong way. That's his sixth brace of the season. And puts Bradford on course potentially for a vital three points. As the promotion chasing Bantams. Go into the lead. That's 29 in all competitions for Andy Cook. What a season! Bradford looking to go as deep into the Gillingham half as possible, hoping to hold on to this 2-1 lead with moments to go. Shot coming in! Oh, it's a really good save. Fantastic shot. Nichols it was from distance. First touch, second touch with his left, right-footed shot. And Lewis pushes it round the post. Is searching for an equaliser again it's Lewis coming up trumps in the Bradford goal he's not had a lot to do today but what he's done he's done superbly that's two fabulous saves in a short period by the Bradford City stopper So deep now into this game. And Bradford just hanging on a little bit. In possession of three points as we speak. To Thunder trying to get the ball in, but he wins a corner on this near side. It's going to be taken and it's going to be right footed. Swinging in towards Lewis in the Bradford goal. Punched. It's an equaliser, right at the death. The last minute of additional time, and it's a hammer blow for Bradford. Substitute for Gillingham, Ollie Hawkins. Lewis of Bradford tries to punch it away. Lots of bodies around him, was he being held? Ollie Hawkins, pouncing, securing, surely a point for the visitors from that corner Hawkins third goal for Gillingham and that's a Bantam's body shot taking the wind out of Bradford sails such a late goal 
Mark Hughes will be so disappointed. Defeated midweek. And victory snatched away from them. And Gillingham have another late free kick here. And it'll be a yellow card. Nichols it is who wins the free kick. Right footed free kick coming in towards the back post. Sails over the heads of everybody. Well, that's full time, and at the break, the visitors Gillingham leg thanks to Ed, the end strike on 12 minutes. Bradford bounce back with top scorer Andy Cook's header early in the second half, followed by Cook's 29th goal from the penalty spot in all competitions this season. The Bantams were headed for three points, but Gillingham's last gasp equaliser from sub Ollie Hawkins. Mark Hughes isn't happy. It's either with the amount of time at the end of the game, or oh, it looks like it's being held. He's suggesting that Lewis was being held, the Bradford keeper, but it's full time, and it's Bradford two, Gillingham two.